The fifth etude in G-flat major, composed in 1830, is popularly known as the Black Keys Study. In this light-hearted etude, the right hand plays in semiquaver triplets exclusively on the black keys. It has an elegance and humour, providing a welcome contrast to the neighbouring etudes. No tempo indication or metronome marking was indicated by Chopin, who gave the performance directions leggerissimo e legatissimo in 2-4 time. In the manuscript copy, the first forte does not appear until bar 33, lasting two bars. The left hand D flats, bars 412 and similar bars, are dotted quavers, and there are accents on the second quaver beats. Here are the opening bars, attempting Chopin's leggerissimo. Again, Chopin's score directions are often exchanged for opposite dynamics and fast metronome markings. Pedalling through each whole bar on a resonant piano, where staccato dots and rests are shown, produces the wrong effect. The lightness of Chopin's leggerissimo adds to the existing technical problems, especially with the right hand thumb playing on black keys in fast triplets, but heavy forte with pedal over-dramatizes and destroys its essential character. Pedaling through changes of harmony is not advisable on modern pianos. For example, bar one is usually marked with pedal held through the changing chords, creating this blurred and jangling sound in the left hand. The left hand harmonies need to be heard clearly, staccato. The closing flourish of fortissimo double octave triplets should be played a tempo and unpedaled staccato. No slowing down of pace is indicated. If the double octaves are pulled back to then the related tempo would only be 